Welcome back to Going Bush and the changes technology is having on the way forestry and the timber industry works. One of the most recent advances is the rollout of Sengia, a computerised inventory management system used in Victoria's native forests. But even in the frontline harvest operation, the pace of change is hectic. So when you're looking for evidence of technological advancement in the forest, Andrew, you don't need to go a lot further than the hardware they kind of use these days. That's exactly right, Nick. That is a header like we've seen before, but yep. it's a very smart header. It's got a brain and it measures and it remembers everything it does. They call it the optimizer. The optimization head is an extremely clever tool that measures the length and diameter of each log that it picks up and then calculates where to saw that log in order to get the maximum value from it. That information is collected and collated to give the forest managers a real-time snapshot of the productivity of a particular coop. It allows us to get a much better handle and in a quicker time of what the yield on a coop is. Generally speaking, to achieve the coop yields, we have to wait till the area is harvested completely. We'll, we will map it by hand with a GPS and then reconcile that against what timber we've sold off that landing. But that could take a number of months before it's done because the coop could take a while to harvest. But having an optimizer, you can do that real time as you're moving along because you know every tree you've cut down in the area you've covered. So that's one of the three machines on this job and we've got Andrew Hart riding shotgun in the cab. That's the fella buncher, which basically uh, fells the trees. And uh, in a good day, they reckon they can get through two to 300 trees on a thinning operation like this. The other thing that machines like that have been brilliant for is safety. You no longer have people standing out in the bush able to be getting hit by trees. Except me. So having a big, heavy machine around you is great for added safety, but what about those forestry staff out in the bush, sometimes working alone in far-flung remote places? Here a snake bite or a twisted ankle could mean an anxious and potentially deadly wait for help, but again, it's technology to the rescue. Our staff work remotely in some really difficult terrain and conditions, so uh, anything we can do to support that. And the Spot Messenger is a, is, a, is a small GPS device with the ability to send messages. So it could send a custom message. Uh, it can send a help, I'm a, I need help, not life-threatening, but I need help, or a genuine SOS, which will then go to the authorities and, and generate the appropriate response. Back in the office, um, they can keep a track of you. So it's on a... Um, satellite system there's a map and you can pick up where everybody is at the time so whether you're off the road and in the bush somewhere they will still be able to find you which was it's always been a thing if you hadn't worn one and you're doing a coop recce in the middle of the bush how is anybody going to know where you are um, whereas now it's like oh well I've got this and I know it's working and I can send messages to them to say yes I'm okay um, or yes I've left the bush so you know it, it keeps the uh, managers and the business on track on where everyone is. So the spot messenger provides that all important safety net for staff in isolated situations. A second GPS based system called Easy to See is installed in all Vic Forest vehicles which provides live information as to the position and status. So Jason we've got our fleet out here, the green ones are on the move, the stop ones are on the side of the road or something like that and if something was to happen for example to this guy here, certainly. what does Easy to See allow us to do? Well, it allows us to get his direct location, potentially send assistance in whatever form that may need to be, but also there's a potential there to see which of our vehicles are nearby and may be able to go to help. So you could tell him that he's in trouble and to get over there? Certainly could. But it's more than a straight tracking device. The Easy to See system also has the ability to send messages to various places via a press button keyring, and in the worst case scenario, will call for help automatically. The great thing about this system is that the, each device has uh, an activator that says if there's been an accident, a significant collision, it will send a help message. If the vehicle's rolled over, it will send a help message uh, to, to pre-program numbers. Uh, but that doesn't require any, any interaction by the staff member. So in the worst case scenario, and a staff member is badly injured, we'll still know that they need help. 
So with a new Sengia barcoding system producing streamlined and accurate log data down the supply chain, computerised harvesters wringing every cent of value out of each and every tree taken from the forest and clever GPS messaging devices providing an umbrella of safety for those working in the bush, it's clear that technology has had a huge and growing role to play in our forests. Still to come today, the patch of forest on Sydney's doorstep that's helping spread the message of sustainability. And next, how careful planning pays big dividends. But now, your chance to win. Through each episode of Going Bush, we're giving you the chance to win a prize pack full of goodies. Yes, each week, 10 lucky winners will receive a prize pack perfect for you to get out there and enjoy our forests. To enter, all you need to do is correctly remember the code word on screen now, then jump online and visit www.goingbush.tv and you could win. Good luck.